and yes we did make it to Benidorm however I had to fill my own doctors up one thing we are noticing um, I thought it might be a thing wasn't sure there's a lot of mobility scooters around don't do what we did come up in this heat because no. we're struggling we're now leaving Calpe and we're heading for a week's holiday in Benidorm here we go well hello everyone and yes we did make it to Benidorm however it's not always plain sailing and we had a few mozzie bites from cowpea or kelp however you pronounce that and um, they've taken their toll on Jodie a little bit but the good thing is I believe she will be out up and running again tonight so I'm just going to show you a little bit of the pitch. Um, tomorrow I'll take you around the pool. Um, but for now, check this out. So it's quite shaded here, which is good because we've got these lovely trees. Although I did have to watch for that and make sure it didn't hit the top of the motorhome. Um, got the carpets out the chairs out and over here you have got a waist so you can put your grey waist down there and here you have got water on the pitch and we have electric so it's all facilities uh, we are here for the next few days um, just a bit of chill out really because obviously we've been traveling going one place to the other and we just need to have a little bit of time where we can chill out which has worked out well obviously because um, Jodie has not been that well with the mosquitoes Hello! Uh, I believe Lee's just explained everything to you about me uh, yeah so mosquitoes like me and sometimes I get bitten and sometimes I don't but when I do um, I don't react very well to them <laughs> Uh, so I've got swollen ankles, bites that um, blistered and everything. Um, I won't show it because it's not very nice. Um, I had to phone my own doctors up who then give me some advice on the phone. I had to send some photographs. Um, we've got the right cream and everything from the pharmacy. Lee, bless him, had to walk to the pharmacy, which is about a K and a half away, twice uh, in one day. Uh, three times in one day, uh, twice in one day and one day time another time because it was shut. Um, but yeah, so I've now put the cream on, I'm feeling okay, my ankles are still a bit tight so I don't know how far I'm going to walk but I'm having to wear my Crocs because nothing else will fit me. Um, but I've been stuck in this van for the last two days and we're in Benidorm and I want to go and see something. Oh yeah, so I managed to get out yesterday, went for a walk so my ankles were still quite swollen. Um, but they seem to be okay now, they're still not right um, but they're not hurting and painful like they were yesterday. This is where we came in, we've got roadworks going on there at the moment. And that's the reception um, and you just drive in through there onto the campsite. It's a walk leading to the main town from here. Uh, about 20 minutes I would say. And that's another camping site campsite there. Just down the road from where we are. There's a few pubs and restaurants. One thing we are noticing um, I thought it might be a thing, wasn't sure. There's a lot of mobility scooters around. And um, I think this is a, like a sales or hire place. You can actually uh, purchase them here. And understand where we are if it's about a 20 30 minute walk for some people. Um, and if they can't walk that distance, and understand them having um, the mobile scooter thing. What do you call the disability scooter? What do you call them? Mobility scooters. Mobility scooters. <laughs> yeah, understand them having them because I would if I was in that scenario. Uh, but there is absolutely loads of them, and you can start to see the hotels now, which first the beach starting to come up to some. Look, I love you can see. Look at the mountains in the distance. That's quite tropical here. <laughs> Actually, I think I've found um, the right one. Ability scooter for Letty. Yeah, I'll have that one. And then over the road, which I wouldn't mind going to, but I just I'd have to check that it was in English. I would understand it, but 
over there is Benedon Palace. And um, they've got a show in at the moment called Fire, haven't they? Yeah. Um, it's which... a dining, as in you eat, and the show's on, and that big experience. Other than that, I don't really know anymore. I did look at it, and the platinum dining experience with the show, um, and that's like free course meal, bottle of wine for two. I don't know if it's, I think it's only one person, but it did confuse me. It's a bottle of wine for two, um, 85 euros for the whole. Um, shebang, platinum. Driving in Spain is really easy. Now, I don't know if anyone else is like me, but keeping on the correct side of the road is fine. But when I'm walking, I always look in the opposite direction of the road I'm crossing to see if there's a car coming. They're on the loose. Also some charging points there. Look, guys is charging his Tesla. Tesla? Yeah, in the street. Yeah. That one, that. I wouldn't mind getting around on one of them little scooters though. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. Oh, look, Yorkshire Pride. Oh, best Sunday dinner in town. Served every day of the week. I'm happy. Found a Yorkshire Sunday dinner place. Again? Yorkshire Sunday dinner. Lovely. Yorkshire puddings and everything. Oh. Yorkshire Sunday dinner. What's that like then? That's what it says. <laughs> Is that because I've never made you one? Because you make them better than me. I've never, I've never had a Yorkshire Sunday dinner. Rock and Roll House. This looks quite good, doesn't it? No. This Rock and Roll House. Because I'm looking at this before and it's got all the different acts that are on different days of the week. And looking at that, it starts at 8 o'clock. It says it on there as well, doesn't it? Like cover bands. Elvis. We went to, we went on the beach yesterday, didn't we? We got as far as the beach, just the first part of it. And we found, there's quite a few restaurants. And some of them, we thought, do you know what, we'll go in this more Spanish looking one because some of them were quite English looking and we wanted to still feel like we're in Spain. Yeah. Went in there, the menu looked a bit naff. But you went for a burger, I went for a chicken burger. And oh my god, babe, what was it like? Well, I don't leave my food, but I left that. Left the plate full near enough, just had a couple of chips. Yeah, and... Uh, Absolutely disgusting. Yeah, and, and I couldn't eat mine. The, the, the chips were all right, but the... The chicken, but it's, it just—it was like it's been shoved in the microwave. It, it's horrible. Yeah. Um, so then we decided to go and find somewhere else, and we're going to show you where we went in the end. A pub there called the uh, Red Lion. Looks like it does karaoke, music, sports bar, and uh, a few restaurants and things this side. We're going to go into the uh, indoor. Market. Yeah, look, beach towels. That's what I wanted. Got a beach towel. Yeah, ain't got really my style. Not yours, Mickey. Mickey and Minnie. We've got real English pork sausage. Mm. I like the way they've got a piggy bank oh, right, next yeah. to the sausages. Next to the back bacon. Yeah, back there. Yeah. Oh, that's actually proper bacon. Yeah. Something you don't find in Spain. <laughs> it's a big one. <laughs> so, yeah. so this is... <clears throat> this is somewhere we had a nice uh, meal last night, in the end. Um, and it was a lovely place actually, really good food. Um, so if you like your Indian takeaway, curry leaf, Indian restaurant, um, well worth a visit. And there's your menu. So we're going to look for a beach towel because it's finding find that very difficult to get one to suit Lee's needs. <laughs> he wants um, like a Benadam one, but a bit of quality to it, don't you? Love? And they're all really thin, and I think that's what it is. Well, maybe they're just meant to be. Yeah. 
A bit safer to get it in a bag easier. If it's thicker, it'll take up more room, won't it? So that's the beach towels got. Hopefully, we'll end up on the beach for a couple of hours now. So I did go on there on the sun lounger for about 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes or so. Yeah, nobody came over to charge us anyway. Um, and it just, it was, nice. a, yeah, <laughs> it was a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. And I saw I like the beach and that, but it's a bit open. We were right in the back near the walkways and that, so I just thought we're going to have a walk around and take you around with us in, instead. Yeah, we'll have a little wander. He's got a bigger camera than me. It's not about size. It's not about the size, he said. <laughs> oh, great. Not much of a remains there, but um, that's a little bit, just showing the history. The original... Where's the rest gone? ...original castle. Obviously it's all underneath and that, isn't it? But they've just dug a bit up to show you. And there's a bit more about it if you want to. And there's a QR code if you want to know more. A little bit under there. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? And that's the beach that we come up then. Yeah. So we walked all the way along there. All the way along there, yeah, and away from the site. So, yeah. So we're going to walk back through the streets. It's a bit of a walk, but. So it'd be nice scenery as we go through something different to see. We're not yeah, going to use. We're not going to go across the beach like we normally do. It's got so, a few bars and that behind here, isn't it? Yeah, there's like lots of bars and restaurants up here as well. Toffee apples. Mm. Oh, very nice. Some nice cakes in there. We, we like walking, don't we, love? Yeah, we do. Yeah. In a way, I wish we did have like an e-bike or even an e-scooter because yeah, I think scooters are the way forward. Especially around here, um, it's just that with my legs being bad, my ankles are swollen anyway. Lee says by the time we've done this whole day's walking, be about eight miles. Oh yeah, I mean we've still got another three point one k to go just to get back. So that's Why two miles. Just told me that. <laughs> I thought we were nearly there. <laughs> Yeah, I bought about um, 10 pairs of different shoes with me and because my ankles are swollen, the only ones I could fit into were my fake Crocs that cost me £6.99. Um, I've done nearly, well, when we're finished, I've done 8 miles on them. So we're walking back now along this like weird footpath thing. <laughs> and that's mainly for scooters and bikes, but I think you can walk on it, but... Looks like we've got to go all the way up there. Right, well that was a hell of a walk when you've got small ankles. My feet really need to be up, <laughs> messed in right now. But we've actually come to the end of that road to nowhere. Anyway, made it. Made it back to we our did. home yeah, for the week. We did, a walk. A trek today. Bit of a trek, but hopefully my legs don't seize up. But we're not going... I'm not going far tomorrow anyway. Right, this is the back of the motorhome everyone. And this is Party Town. Hands. Hands. Hello. Hello, hope everyone's alright and keeping well.
Yeah, we've been in Benidorm now. Uh, we came Monday and it is now Saturday. We had our first um, mad night out last night, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just to trial it out and see what this uh, Benidorm nightlife's like. Do you know what? It's a great place in certain areas and if you're on this campsite and you've got the bar here and there's some pubs just down the road, it's great. Um, but what we learnt last night was certain areas are a bit rough but I think they're all gathered together in one area because they know it's a bit rough but it's actually full of drunken groups of men. Pretty much, yeah. So that yeah. Pretty, pretty much sums up, I suppose, mm -hmm. the centre of, of Benidorm. In the day it's a great place um, and certain areas in the evening but I think yeah Friday Saturdays um, it seems to be just stag parties. Yeah so I was a bit put off by all that but Benadam has got nice places it's got another beach at the other side if it's too much for you on on this main beach. Oh, it's a big old campsite um, however if we look here so that's where all your facilities and pool is and everything like that and we're pitch number five and there's a little walkway through. So um, we come out of the pitch, it's the swimming and everything like that, so it's great. So you've got the Jokers, it's a club. It's like a disco. It looks like it, doesn't it? And then you've got Bruno Mars, he comes yeah. here as well. <laughs> yeah, that's what we, um, that's him we saw last night. And then you've got the rowdier bars, like that one over there. Massive shoe shop. <laughs> any of you ladies that love your shoes? Definitely here, look at all them. We've got the classic flamingo shirt, if you want one. Right, so we've come away now from the, uh, from the cage zoo area. Let's call it that, shall we? <laughs> and we're now back on the seafront area. Um, don't get me wrong, it can get a bit rowdy down here in the evening, but it's not too bad. This, uh, it's not too bad, I suppose. Like where we, um, where we are, bit, where we you are can go further now. down, and yeah. then um, you know it gets quieter as you go down. So it's just you know, choosing. The first, then get to yeah, but there's the beach again. <laughs> Lovely. So we've stopped at a restaurant, aren't we? Yeah. Bit of music in the background, so I can't film it for too long. But this looks a lovely men uh, menu. Wow, homemade smoked pork burger. Pulled pork burger. That nice. sounds nice in itself. Yeah. So we're just gonna have something to eat and drink here tonight and then head off back to the campsite and chill out up there. But it's a lovely restaurant. So the food's come out and it's actually tasting quite nice. That's a bit of jolly bread there. But there's me uh, spag bowl. That's your carbonara. Nice. So, yeah, we're going to sit back, back now and enjoy this and then uh, crack on for the rest of the evening. Catch you back. Good morning, it's our last day in Benidorm today. We'll head off again tomorrow. Um, we are going to take you on a little walk later on, but first of all, I've got some washing to do. So, I've got two bags coloured in whites, and the towels are going in with the whites because they're grey. It's the second time I've done washing since I've been on the road. Um, probably a bit less this time. Um, we went to the Overlander first in Stratford upon Avon and then we came out to Europe. So we Thursday just it's now Sunday, Thursday just gone would have been two weeks on the road. So that's our second wash just for over just two weeks, um, which is not too bad. We have to get tokens from the supermarket. Um, I'm gonna show you when we go to the supermarket around the pool area as well. Um, and we'll take you up to the laundrette so you can see a bit more of the campsite before we take you out for a walk. This is the pool area. Yeah, it's quite nice and spacious down here. You've yeah. got some pool tables, air hockey. Our van is literally just over there. Oh, literally just there. So you do hear the noise. Of me. This is what they use to pull over in the um, winter months so it becomes an indoor pool. Um, that's the restaurant which is open to the public as well, you can get in through the other side and there's a little bit of a supermarket there. This is the lovely pool, I've been in there a couple of times, it's lovely. And then you've got all these sun lounges that you can use. So you've got toilets as well um, at the end of the pool. And this is Lee Nicken 
Somebody's taken the other ones right over there, I think. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah, there's normally a few more lounges here and I think they've been taken over that side. Maybe because the sun was over there later on. Probably, Probably yeah. So we're doing the uh, Benadon Boat Beach Towers. <laughs> of Benadon written all over them. Yeah, supermarket area. Maybe he's just waiting to get some tokens. This is where the toilet block is. It's open both sides. Really good showers and uh, toilets in there. Um, I'm just going to take you up to where the laundry is. It's at the top of there and across that way. Six euros for uh, one wash, isn't it, for the token? Yeah. yeah. We, got, um, we waited half an hour for a token, then we got a token and it didn't fit that machine. Yeah. So the one we got is a big gold one for that machine and it's a little silver one. So Lee had to go back, didn't you, and get another. Yeah. And although he did have them tokens from the start. Right, we had a good sunburning session this morning and a good swim, didn't we? Lovely. Um, now we're heading off to visit the cross, see what that's all about. Yeah, so hopefully it's not too hard work getting there, but yeah, we're going to go and see what the cross is all about, have a look up the top uh, and see the views from up there. Oh. One just hit the other. Well, so we're both trying to come up the hill from stationary. One had got the momentum and the other one hadn't. Well, the other one, the first one stalled it. Did he stall it? She stalled it, yeah. Oh, so it got stalled and the other one hit it, back of it. So... Yeah. No damage to the cars though. No. Bumpers for bumpers out here, right? I think we're at the halfway point. There's like a windy road going round the side of this hill. And there's someone up there, it's like got like a little castle wall kind of thing coming round it, brick wall. We're still going up and up. Yeah, we've got to go that way, then we go that way, and then you've got to go that way, and then you go up. Lee thinks we do the windy road that goes. Like See that. that. It's about 30 degrees. Yeah, it must be mental. We're still going up and up. Famous. Benadom Cross, which uh, is here as a memorial for loved ones lost in Benadom. There's lots of <coughs> plaques, pictures, messages, writing. Well worth coming up here to see. Yeah. The views are spectacular. But if you are walking, you know, bear in mind it is, is um, quite a slog and the temperatures can get quite up high within the mountain. Or you know, it's a mountain I suppose, isn't it? But um Yeah, yeah just just remember. Don't do what we did, come up in this heat because no. we're struggling. So really, I reckon really, it'd be take a taxi up and maybe a nice stroll down would be a you've lovely got idea. A bike or something you want to try riding yeah. it on a bike, but even still, yeah. you know, it's uh, it's, it's quite and you can't get your bikes or scooters up that last little bit. It's yeah, so it's not clever doing it in the heat. It's bad for you to do it in this heat, but we've got some water with us now. So we'll take on a load of water, and I've got a fly. I know you mean, um, and then we're going to head back down. All downhill from here, though, so all good. And then we're going to need food. Path between the road and um, the cross. As you can see, it's not really fit for bikes or scooters. About halfway down. And um, it's actually a pleasant walk down. It's just a walk up, it's a bit hard work, isn't <laughs> it? It's definitely pleasant because we're going downhill. Yeah, <laughs> yeah trying to dry it's off. Right. A, bit, a bit hot going up. <laughs> yeah. Trying to dry off now because I fancy a nice a large cervasa. Cervasa? I, I, I keep saying I'm that wrong. Right? Like a fruit copperberg or something. Oh, okay. Is it copperberg? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Something Strawberry like. and lime, something like that. Anyway, we've uh, got to the bottom of the hill and decided that we needed to cool off a little bit. So we've come in. I've got a nice glass of Estrella, and you've got a, a nice a copperberg, a strawberry and lime. Uh, and we decide we're going to eat here. It's a traditional English pub. Um, 
it looks all right. It's quite quiet at the moment, so we thought, why not? Um, Joe's going for the burger, but I'm going for a shareable chicken platter. Um, but it's not sharing it. But I'm not sharing it. No, I'm not sharing it at all. Uh, I'm hungry now after doing that walk. So I'm well happy. I've got my platter. So I've got me chicken nuggets, uh, barbecue wings, spicy wings, chicken strips, nachos, garlic bread. And you've got a nice burger there, haven't you? Yeah, it's like create your own burger. So you have a choice of three different burgers and what's that food you have on it. So I've just gone for cheese, bacon, onion. So we are going to enjoy this. Um, get some energy back in. Anyway. Right, so this is it here, the plaza. And it's not the it's a good English pub, family pub, and it has sports on. Um, and the guy that owns this also owns the one here, um, which is the more livelier pub out of three. He owns three, but he has rented one out called the White Horse. But I'm not quite sure where that is. Is that? He said he has cabaret and stuff on it. I think it's that one there. Oh, there we go. Look in the triangle. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the white horse over there. So he's he's rented that out now, but it's still a cabaret bar and good for entertainment. This is your family um, sports pub, and then yeah. that's your more rowdier one of the of the three. But yeah, so let me. It's a bit more out of what I call the caged animal area, um, <laughs> and a few more families come up this side of of the beach, really. So not too bad around this area. To be fair, we, we did speak to her about it, just being like groups of guys down there, and she says what they find is one week it'll be groups of women, then it'll be groups of men, and they said they never seem to turn up at the same time. No, trust me to pick the wrong week. <laughs> we're going to leave this vlog here, we're going to head Ooh, off, yeah. we're not going to tell you where, we're going to surprise you. Oh yeah, tomorrow. and it's going to be somewhere different, a little different, but um, I think it's going to be alright. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the unknown again, isn't it? But that's what the whole trip's about anyway. Yeah, exactly. So we will pick you up when we um, are leaving tomorrow and surprise just you to where we're heading. We will. And um, on that note, we just say thank you again to everyone that's uh, been supporting and subscribing to the channel. It does mean an absolute lot for us. And we would like to say a massive, massive thank you to anyone that gives a super thanks to Andy and Rose. Andy and Rose, yeah. Thank, thank you for you. that. And we do apologise, it's a little bit late on the vlogs, but we are a little bit ahead of ourselves. So We're ahead anyone, of ourselves if we can Anyone that does do a super yeah. thanks, you know, we will thank you in the comments and uh, we will thank you as soon as we can on camera. But thank you very much. And we'll see you next time. So, <laughs> see ya. From Benadarm. Uh, adios. <laughs>